Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Aha! The Movie. And this is a new rock documentary from directors Thomas Robeson and Aslung Holm, and focuses on the band Aha! This Norwegian pop band that became really big in the 1980s for Take On Me, which has that iconic video, and I'm pretty sure many, many people can pick it up just from hearing bits of the song. The whole... And then the ridiculously like high falsetto singing at points. But, which I will not try to replicate, because I am definitely a bass. But, this film focuses on the band and, you know, in general, plays off, as I saw some critics explain, like a Wikipedia page, you know, it does its thing in terms of chronologically walking through the band's existence and painting a picture, and, you know, that's pretty standard rock doc. Structure, you know, biopic structure, and for the most part, it doesn't deviate much from that. It is really well shot. This is a beautifully shot film, and even just, like, the interviews, there's a rich texture to the filmmaking and to, like, the uh, cinematography. So it looks really good, too. And it does meld in some, like, bits of animation and some different kinds of visual storytelling that shakes things up. Because, structurally, doesn't shake it up too much. It does the pretty standard rock documentary kind of piecing things together throughout the er, career. But what I feel like makes us stand out is that this is an interesting story because most people, especially in America, only see AHA as this band with this one song. And it's interesting, they even have a bit where they're working on the James Bond theme song that they did as well, which I knew about that. But realistically, outside of those two songs, I didn't really have a whole lot of... Uh, understanding of aha uh -huh. and what's interesting is a lot of those kinds of bands that are like one hit wonders here especially if they're international bands wind up having some pretty rich careers elsewhere and you know they're probably much more well known in Europe and stuff like that and I feel like this documentary captures the fact that like they have a long career of 11 albums a lot of music and they've been pretty successful up to this point and it isn't just this one song and I feel like the directors were able to capture that perspective and really show how this group did their music, created their music. And on top of that, some real tension here. And you can tell, like, in modern times, they're not on the same page. And maybe they weren't on the same page when they were in the height of their career either. And the film picks up on that tension and fleshes that out in a pretty interesting way. So those are a couple elements that makes this stick out than just, you know, your run-of-the-mill, same old, same old rock documentary. And from an actual viewer perspective, it adds some tension and intrigue to the story. And in the end, I think this is a above-average, enjoyable rock documentary about a band that, realistically, you probably don't know that much about outside of their one song that they did. And, you know, the documentary really highlights that, too. It's a big part of it. There's a lot of energy in that section of the film. But in the end, definitely worth a watch, especially if you're me and love rock docs. But those are my thoughts on AHA! The Movie. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.